Well, now back to our top story, and uh, that's about North Korea defying the UN after claiming to carry out an underground nuclear test. And with me to discuss this is Pavel Lyshakov, head of the Center for Korean Studies at Moscow State University. Uh, Mr. Lyshakov, thank yes. you very much indeed for your time. Yeah. So, it seems like um, North Korea, uh, well, it's clearly clearly a form of uh, their uh, nuclear deterrence. Uh, what kind of strategy is North Korea pursuing by doing that? Mm, I think it's quite understandable and quite clear. When some people say that uh, Korea, North Korea is unpredictable, I think that's not true. It's very predictable. Mo maybe it's uh, especially this, uh, the, the last uh, uh, nuclear test was unexpectedly made for some, but it's quite predictable. And uh, the utmost uh, aim of the uh, policy is to um, get the, as they think, uh, the only absolute guarantee from uh, attack by more powerful enemies. And the nuclear weaponry is uh, the best solution from their point of view. Yeah, and how does this test affect the balance of power in the region? So and of course, in the whole world, of course. Of course, it could affect uh, the balance of power first in the region because Japan is ready to, uh, as they say, uh, they have enough plutonium to make weaponry uh, you know, within several months and there's only need some political decision. And South Korea is also, uh, they, I, I know that there was some article, well, not this, that uh, before test, that Korea is ready to make their own nuclear test within one year. So that means a kind of a domino effect and it could be followed by uh, by built up in China and maybe even nuclear weapon in Taiwan. Uh, what is uh, dangerous is that uh, Korean Peninsula is, uh, how to say, uh, is uh, the violence and uh, wounds of past and even present are surrounded, uh, surrounding Korean Peninsula, and without any uh, agreement on uh, collective uh, security in the region, it could lead to some uh, unpleasant, uh, unpleasant process. And uh, it seems to be very important to North Korea to uh, succeed in uh, such a test. But uh, how can North Korea afford a such armament program? Of course, it's very expensive, and uh, there are some calculations by South uh, Korean experts that it costs uh, half a billion dollars to make the uh, missile launch. I think that nuclear weaponry test is also the same size, but uh, the biggest problem is not resources, because uh, many specialists, they underestimate uh, North Korean resources, considering it just a poor country with no resources, mm -hmm. but the brains, and uh, I think that Korean uh, physicists, uh, nuclear physicists, they were quite uh, uh, good in succeeding uh, the task which was set for them by the leader. Actually, they were students, or most of the students of uh, uh, Russian universities. But we, we were teaching them not uh, to make nuclear weaponry, but just uh, nuclear physics. But they were very good students to proceed in this sphere, I should say. All right, Pavel Lyshakov, thank you very much indeed for sharing your views with us. You're welcome.